Okay, so I've got some um, new bits have arrived. Um, I know the sound quality on the video has been really rubbish recently. Uh, I am really trying to balance the the audio. So I've got my little mic on, so I'm talking at this volume. And then when I'm doing other stuff, uh, I, I, when I do the editing, I really do try. Somebody did leave me a message and say that there was some sort of uh, auto uh, leveling cutoff or something. Um, if anybody knows what that is, uh, uh, I mean, I use um, Adobe Premiere Elements is, is the one I use. Um, I'll have a look, see if I can find this miracle auto auto level or something of the audio. But anyway, there we are. Uh, no comment on this fantastic light bulb shade that I've put up. Uh, it does work. Anyway, I've got the um, these uh, electrical penetrators which have arrived. I'll open those in a minute. But before that, haha, I've got the red knobs. So I'm going to reassemble the hatch uh, latching mechanism. Not that I need to, just because I want to see the knobs on. Right, so after all that, uh, I have to make sure that these are in the right, they're all lined up, I've got to remember that. Anyway, right. I think what we need is a nut on there just to make it look better. And it probably doesn't need one. Definitely doesn't need one, though. It? Yeah, I think we need a nut and a washer just to make it look right. So, uh, pleased with those. Didn't look right without the, the, the nut, I don't think. Anyway, right, on with the plot. Right, let's have a look at this. So, this is a subcon, um, what do they call it, the bulkhead, four pole, high power, male connector, 50 amps per terminal. So what I'm going to do is make a uh, 50 millimeter uh, through hole, bit, bit, like, bit like that there and that'll go through and then screw in and there's an o-ring that goes in there and then i can connect my power cables to that now the there are ways you can do this you can make your own and a lot of people do and that's perfectly good um, to me i just um, saved the hassle of making them. It takes me long enough with this as it is, so let's put that back in there for now. Okay, so this is a, 
Um, this is actually a hole penetrator that I made for uh, for Scaddock that was going to be for the battery pod power connector, but um, obviously I never got to finish that, and I this was supposed to go in the boat, but I forgot to put it in, so sorry about that, Emil. Um, I don't know whether we would have used it or not anyway, but anyway, it's got four uh, M20 threaded, fully threaded holes to fit, fit an M20 blue globe. So uh, it gives me options. I can put power, I can modify this to fit to, to fit pipe nipples or, or high pressure pipe or, um, you know, I can put swage lock, M20 swage lock through there. So gives me a few options of extra stuff if I need if I need it so I might as well use this since I've got it so it's going to go right just there at the top reason I'm putting it at the top is because I want the electrics to be all high up um, so off the off the deck uh, and high high up out of the way so I'm going to make a tube on the inside for all the electrics to fit into Well, I really don't like doing this. It just makes such a mess. All the smoke, but not much I can do. Just get on with it. So, I went a bit off track here, it's not too bad but I'm going to have to sort that out now. So I think I'm going to uh, cut that little corner out, yeah. have a cup of tea now while we wait for the smoke to clear it's actually it's not too bad it's been worse
Okay, so I've finished uh, the, the plasma cutting and the te tedious grinding. Uh, those are ready to go. I've just got a, a, another run to go around on, on this one yet. So I have already heated this up a bit. I'm just going to... runs on this to go. Well, one actually. So, I know this is all repetitive, but I mean I'm leaving it in because this is the reality of, of what I'm doing. This is it. Ow! Ow! Just touch the rod with my bare finger through these nut damaged gloves. Bad worse. Look at that. Caught the edge. Alright, so these are the next two uh, rotating motor. Uh, penetrates going in. Right, that's going to have to do for today because I've got a dog to collect. So, um, the next uh, ro motor, rotating motor penetrators are in. Uh, I've finished the welding on that. I've cut and ground the holes for the electrical penetrator on both end caps, finished the machining on the, the last couple of uh, through holes oh, and I've done all the grinding and uh, where did it go there and cut that, cut and ground that hole out there for the uh, electrical penetrator plate. I don't know, I may, might change my mind on whether, uh, whether I want these nuts on or not. I mean, it's important stuff, this, you know. What do you think? <laughs>